can like think back to your entire time in McNeese, maybe pre-pandemic, some special moments of, of, of things that you experienced with your studio. Yeah, 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 yeah. So um, one of the, the craziest things that happened, um, I have a, a senior this year, his name is Isaiah Windsor. And um, he actually last year decided that he wanted to start his own jazz band. So he started what he calls the last minute big band, which like call them at the last minute if you need them kind of a thing. And um, it's, it's just completely taken off and they're being called for gigs and they're playing all over the place. And um, I just coach them. They're actually, the uh, back half of his recital is actually gonna be a whole bunch of that. It's a whole bunch. We're using the whole trumpet studio to do Gonna Fly Now for his final with a whole jazz band final piece for his senior recital. It's gonna be fantastic. But yeah, so this kid started a jazz band just because he felt like it and he found enough people, not just McNeese students, but actual people in the community to play. Like um, the, the drum set player is a, a local high school band director and so is the, the lead alto player, which is just extraordinary, really, really cool stuff. Um, before that, when we were still doing trumpet ensemble um, and in person, we were prepping for NTC and all that stuff. And we were doing um, different arrangements. And I was having, um, we have a student here, his name is Cole Labruyere. And he's actually, he does a lot of composing and arranging. And he's one of those students, he came up to me and he said, I don't like the trumpet. And I was like, so why are you a trumpet major, Cole? And he said, you know, because I, I have to do this in order to be a composer. And I was like, no, you get to do this because it's going to help you be a better composer. And he's like, oh, OK. So his lessons have been kind of restructured, like, OK, if you do this, you prep all this trumpet stuff, we'll talk composition and arranging and stuff. And we did that. And he comes super prepared. He gets everything perfect. And then he's he's writing all these pieces that people in the studio are actually playing and enjoying. And it's it's so inspiring to see that that somebody who doesn't even want to play trumpet is practicing his butt off so that he can do something else. And I, he was so scared to tell me that. And it's like, yeah, I'm not going to hate you because you don't like the trumpet. You're still working hard. And that's the medium you need to get into school for composition later on and go on from there. So, yeah, those are those are the ones that stand out to me the most.